Hello, this is Genosis with a first look at a game called Astro Medica. I was sent this demo key uh, not too long ago and I gave it a brief look and it actually looks like a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of a mix between uh, Subnautica and Planet Crafter, but without the whole planet crafting thing, more focused on exploration and base building. But I'll let you decide for yourself. I'm going to hop in and take a look. All right, there we go. We got demo mode, limited demo mode for Steam Demo Fest. I'm not sure what that quite refers to, but I believe it's either a timed demo or it's a, a limited progression demo. Either case, I think I'll give you a, a good enough look to decide for yourself. All right, here we go. New signal log is available in the terminal user terminal. So we get this terminal here we can interact with. So we got an old hub station, sender old hub, reusable resources. Maybe I can be, wait, maybe I can find some resource in this old hub, but I need a key card to get in, find usable stuffs. So there might be some maybe localization concerns, but uh, it's minimal. Then we got this Captain Matthews distress signal, distress signal. This is Captain Matthews from the Moxora. If anyone is out there, we've crash landed on a nearby asteroid. Our supplies won't last long. Please, if you can hear this, come find us. I wonder if that was intentional. This seems properly formatted, but this one is just kind of like face rolling on the keyboard. So I don't know. All right, so we got our, uh, I guess what this is like a fabricator. This lets us craft certain materials. We have consumables like water, food, or AKA burger, oxygen cap capsules and med kits. And then we got some equipments, uh, mining tools, jetpack modules, micro suit, basic suit for player to travel in space. I'm not sure what that does. Oxygen modules, expands your, your oxygen tank, expands your inventory and give you shields. So that's it for now. Here we have a mission board. Craft oxygen mo module, equip it. Jetpack module, equip it. Craft inventory module and equip it. Okay, so we can do those things. So let's take a look at the oxygen module. We're gonna need copper wire and quartz. Uh, let's see, jetpack module, iron, coal, and copper wire. All right, so we need stuff. Now there's a couple uh, little chests over here. We got water and food, I will take that. And in this one, we have med kits and oxygen. So basic survival stuff. All right, so this is our little, I don't know what this is, it's a shuttle. In the case, we step outside and we're in the vast space. Yeah, I really like, I really like the look of this. It looks pretty interesting. So we got some, I think it's organics. Yeah, organics right here. So you can craft food from that. We have iron and copper and various other supplies in the area, but uh, we'll gather iron and copper and see about getting that crafted. I think we also need quartz, which is right Morning. over here. Grab that. All right, let's get back in. Uh, yeah, oxygen tank obviously is <laughs> the first priority. All right, so equipments, oxygen module. I need two copper wire. One and two. Okay, that gives us our oxygen module. All right, so this adds 25 to your oxygen. So right now I'm at 55, now we're at 80. Now that also opened up the next module, which we need nickel, which is a more of an advanced material. All right, jetpack, iron, coal, and copper wire. All right, so little bits of black stuff obviously is going to be the coal. So we got some copper, cool, ooh. And then looks like some uh, resource chests. Yeah, this is, um, I'm not sure what the, what this reminds me more of, Subnautica or uh, so electric parts, uh, power cell, and water. Yeah, this kind of, for some reason, for some parts, it reminds me of Subnautica. Other other parts is uh, Planet Crafter. But it's a delightful mix of both. I'm not sure what they were intending. So we got some ice, which is usually for like water and oxygen. More quartz. And yeah, I think I just need a little bit more copper and iron. All right, so I think that's everything I need. I'm almost out of oxygen. And that, yeah, that lasted a lot longer. So equipments, uh, jetpack, so we just need one copper wire and then jetpack module. Fly freely in space with this jetpack. Cool. Uh, inventory module is going to need silver, which we don't think we have around here. And a mining tool with a small battery, which needs copper wire and some coal. The yeah, mining tool will allow you to access the larger nodes up here. Like you can't uh, can't break this apart without the mining tool. So let's see about getting everything we need for that. I almost forgot to equip the jetpack. Uh, where's that module? Read. Uh, bum, bum, bum. 
Yeah, there it is. Jetpack module. Okay, so that's powering up right there. So it is... Uh, oh, there we go. I think it's more of uh, an electronic uh, propulsion, so it doesn't use any fuel or anything like that. So you can just kind of... Whoosh, whoo, oh, <laughs> a little fast. All right, I think we got everything. All right, so I'm going to craft a small battery and then a mining tool. There we go. So this goes into our uh, number one slot. So left click to equip. Gotcha. All right, so inventory is quickly filling up. We do have some storage here, so that would help. But uh, let's see what our mission board looks like. All right, everything's completed. Now that we need the inventory module, which requires silver. Now we need to go further out for that kind of thing from the looks of it. So I'm Morning. going to... Oh, I'm thirsty, it looks like. I'm going to dump as much material in here as I can. All right, so let's drink some water before I die here. There we go. All right, so let's uh, take a look. Now, if you look at these terminals, you can actually activate a signal location that gives you a waypoint. So we have one that's much closer and one's further away. Obviously, the one that's closest will be the one we want to go explore. There's another module here. It looks like it's broken apart. It's got a bunch of ice. doesn't look like there's any survivors or any resources in here at all. So, yeah, we don't need to be in here. All right, now let's see with our jetpack we can make it in here without dying. Here we go. Now that. Whoa! Ow! Okay. <laughs> Ow. So, yeah, there's... Um, that reminds me of Subnautica. Those be like the crash fish. Except that's more of a, 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 a mine. Okay, there's some silver. What was that? Copper wire. Okay, there's some resources over here. That looks to be quartz. Cool. Then we have a... Yeah. Um, oh, we can't get in there. Uh, needs power cell. Well, good thing I brought one with me. Warning. Yeah, that found that was the closest chest that we found back at the uh, at the base. All right, so we have oxygen here, which is just great. So we have enough silver to give us uh, the ability to craft. I forget what it was. Um, there's something I was waiting for. I forget. I forget. Let's see what we got here. Oh, more water, data transformer, electronic parts. Why not? Okay, it looks like we got some sort of quarters here. And we have blueprints. Builder tool, habitat corridor, split corridor, T-split, X-split, and small habitat room. I'm not sure what that one added, but all right. This is Marcella. We've managed to construct a ship that can transport us to another Moxora station. If you're reading this note, you should know that we've secured an additional location for emergency supplies. When you decide to make your way to this location, remember to obtain the key from my cabin. Is the only way to unlock the airlock door leading to the supplies. So yeah, we need we need a key, I guess. We get some water and data transformer, and more storage over here with glass light bulbs. Looks like they won't need anytime soon. Oh, flashlight module. Oh, well, actually, never mind. That would be pretty handy. So we have a oh, there's the key card. Uh, ob station, ob station, and in here we got burger and some water. Oh, and electronic parts. Geez, we're already full. Huh. Uh, I could probably eat if there's something that's not. Yeah, this is only 30 food. And this is 60 water. Yeah, that'll bring us to 98. Awesome. All right, looks like we can't proceed any further. Just fine, because our inventory is full. I'd like to see about getting um, a flashlight module, because this is uh, pretty dark. Actually, hold on. I think you can go further. Ah, uh, yes. You can go further this way. Oh, never mind. That was the wrong way. It's uh, this way is further. Uh, okay, here we go. So, yeah, I, my inventory is full. I can't. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, I guess I have an extra couple slots because I didn't sort. There. All right. So I should have room for like one more item. Yeah, this continues down. Looks like it's just a little bit silver. If we work our way down, yeah, that's just the bottom right there. And this leads to another another area. Ooh, look at all the copper. It was gold in there. Let me grab that. Okay, now we can make gold bars. Lots of iron. Yeah, I'd like to come back for all this all these resources. And there's a uh, utilities here. Elevator system offline, station, depot room door, and generator. I think this is the door they were referring to, the depot. So unlock door. Okay, that opens. Cabin? Or does that mean cabin? I don't know. Uh, we can activate the elevator. Now for power... I don't, yeah, I don't much sure how to go about that. I have uh, not gotten that far. 
But yeah, this is the area you just unlocked, which seems to be stopping right here. And you need a key card. So this must be this. Unlock certain areas. Huh. It's not? But we have lots of resources over here. We got food. What is that? Um, ship set. Okay, that's fine. And then lots of bar. So I like to come back here and uh, loot all of this, because that's just too good to leave behind. Now the elevator was activated, so we can just pop right over here. Go up. This leads up here. A little bit of extra resources, I think, area over there. And this is something I have don't know how to access, a mo mox moxin tool. No idea what that is. Alright, so I guess this unlocks this door. And this leads us back up to where we were before, except that door is now unlocked. All right, so now that we've done all that, let's get back to base. I hope I'm not going too fast for anybody. It's uh, again, I played this uh, just a little bit to kind of get the feel for it. And I really started enjoying it and realized that the uh, demo shut me down at some point. So uh, I'm not sure how far uh, if I can get any further than I did last time, but we shall see. All right, my next uh, priority is the inventory module because, yeah, I like the loot. All right, so that gives us this. This gives us, uh, let's hold on, we got seven, 14, 28 slots. Looks like it gives us another 14 slots, which is very nice, like a 50% bump. All right, mission board. This entire section's completed. Inventory, jetpack, and oxygen, and the mining tool. So it looks like we're done the mission board. Mission board. Yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> what that gives us, if anything, but oh well. Now they build a tool, something you can do now. Uh, constructing structures as objects, or sorry, and objects using resources, blueprints, and creativity. And a flashlight module. Looks like I can make both. All right, flashlight module and builder tool crafted. So flashlight module, press T to toggle flashlight. It was right in there. And we'll put our builder tool on our bar. All right, the builder tool in hand. We got our basic ba um, building stuff. We get corridors, split corridors, so we can make it a base. A vehicle, wait, the hiss? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a, yeah, text bug. And um, there's a few of these. Yeah, vehicle, that's how you're supposed to spell it. Vehicle station room. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if we can build that. Small habitat room. Uh, corridor airlock. So we're, we're going to need the airlock to get in and one of these components to get into. So I'll probably end up building the small habitat room and that airlock. So we got some uh, corridor stairs, corridor door. Then we got a fabricator. That's what we use to build everything. Looks like we can actually build that. Uh, colorize your base, okay. And a tool modification station. This allows you to modify and upgrade, improve your tools. Neato. So we got storage containers, battery chargers, power panels, room foundations. There's all kinds of stuff here. Batteries, asteroid miners. It looks like as you go, things continue to expand. So it looks like you can get pretty far into making stuff. Now, I don't know about vehicles. Maybe once you have a vehicle station, it unlocks something. I have no idea. So in order to build this, we need eight iron bars. So it looks like we're gonna go, go mining. So here's the miner, you kind of walk right up, or walk right up, float right over to one of these. Right click, there we go. Then we got, looks like two, three pieces of iron. Our oxygen's almost up, but let's go ahead and craft all the iron we've been gathering into bars. I think we needed like, what, eight of them? Something like that? We need three iron per bar. So yeah, this might take a little bit. We get five iron bars. Now, let me double check. I think it was eight. Yeah, we need a few more. Our inventory is full and almost out of oxygen, but so I think we have enough. Whoop, 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 there we go. I think we have enough to get this uh, base building started. All right, there we go. So I think I have like nine of them now. Yes, small habitat room. So let's take a look around the area. I actually would mind building a little bit further away from this. Warning. Oh, fluid intake. Um, bum, bum. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a base a little further out here. This kind of looks like a decent spot. We're far enough away from there. We can access whatever's down there. And this is looks like a relatively closer to get to what that location is. So a small the habitat room. Ooh, okay, you can use a real mouse to get further away. You know what? Let's just do it that way. So now we need an airlock, which requires fabric. Ooh, okay, we don't have that. All right, so what I'd like to do now is empty out my inventory as much as possible. Uh, take every resource that I missed 
back at that first location, uh, stash it here, if I can, and then head to that second location. I believe there's more advanced materials over there. All right, this should give us some more than enough to get a few water, a couple food, key card and oxygen, all that stuff. Actually, I'll take a second oxygen because we're about to do like a long kind of a deep dive over there. So 470 meters this way. It's going to be a, it's going to be a close one. All right, let's see if I can snag whatever's up here on the way without losing too much momentum. Yoink. Oh, uh, bu bu bum, uh take. So copper, organic, iron, and water. You know what? That's fine. Okay, we still have 170 some meters and oxygen is at half. And jetpack doesn't have a lot of capacity, but it is a good speed boost and we can coast out some of the momentum. Yeah, there we go. There's the uh, indicator we were looking for. Looks like a lot of organic it's spilled out. All right, let's pop right into here. Fabric. Oh yeah, there we go. Fabric, resin container, uh, absolutely nothing. Um, oh, fabric. We have a light, don't I? Ah, yes, there we go. Warning. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, what is that? Uh, data transformer. Is that everything? There we go. All right, looking over there, this uh, looks like another airlock. I'm going to pop right over here just so we don't have to use our oxygen. It lets me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, it's not letting me in. Uh, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, she. Okay, I missed this entirely. Okay, that's that's better. Okay, looks like we have oxygen in here. Turn the light off, it's a little bright. So we need invader keycard, which I don't have. Ooh, yeah, this call recorder is dark. So we got a trash bin with uh, nothing in it. A seat. Some sort of a plant thing. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, the glass definitely adds something to it. Less claustrophobic. Main gate. Oh, we can even change it. There, much improved. All right, we got an air airlocker over here. Oh, there we go. This lets us into another cavern. Are these loot boxes? Uh, copper, water, copper and water. Iron bars. What's that? Silver, I'll take it. And whatever this moxin tool I need for that, whatever that is. Uh, ooh, nickel. Now we're talking. Now I can make a laser tool, apparently. Oh, I don't seem to be able to grab this one. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. I don't know what, <laughs> how you're supposed to be able to get that one, but uh, it seems my jumping ability is pretty poor. And I have no other way. Oh, no other way to get to that. This kind of looks like those bomb things earlier. So we get a chest with a with blue crystal. Um, got a deep space used for. Uh, Advanced technology and powerful weapons. And this is Cecilite, Cetil Celestite, resin canister. Okay, a little bit of gold, Some more nickel, more Celestite, water and iron, more crystals. Well, oh, this place is loaded. All right, I'm pretty thirsty, so let's uh, sort this out. I'll drink all the smaller waters if I can, make some more space, and a little burger. There, sort. And we have a few more spaces. Yoink, yoink, yoink. All right, so we're full to the brim. Um, is there anything else that I'm going to be missing? Looks like a little more nickel. Yeah, uh, maybe I could drop some some iron, because that's pretty easy to get. All right, grab two more nickel. Now, is there anything further? Doesn't appear to be. All right, I did say I was going to clear out that first place, but uh, I got excited. I went this way. I realized I said that earlier. Okay, so we'll get our, I got the fabric. Oh, fabric and nickel. So now we can craft more advanced things, and I can get the um, with it, the um, what is it called? The thing that lets me in the airlock. That's what it is. So there is yeah, there's our original base, which will give us some oxygen. All right, what's crafted? Uh, yeah, I just need copper wire and iron bars to craft the airlock. See, so yeah, I'll go back to the original base get that and then looks like yeah there's our base we started we can get access to it there all right back to base with a moderately amount of oxygen maybe about 20 percent just gotta coast right in and we're home free all right here we go so uh yeah for the corridor i need five iron bars and copper wire all right so what i'm gonna do instead of crafting all that and do all that mining i'm going to get over to that first base and grab all those iron bars now, before I do, was there something I can craft? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to want the oxygen module. So I need to craft an oxygen capsule. 
which is uh, one copper wire and two ice. Just need one more ice. Yoink. Whoa, I said yoink. Yoink. There we go. There we go. Consumables, oxygen capsule. And uh, anything I need to take off the module. Yeah. So just pop off the oxygen module. Pop this one in. So it gives plus 45. So an extra 20 oxygen, I believe, if I'm doing my math right. Giving us a total of 100. Maybe. 100. Yeah, there we go. I think I have enough space to get a bulk of the stuff there. Actually, I'm pretty thirsty. There we go. Yeah, I should be able to get a good chunk of the stuff that's left back at the other place. Mostly the iron bar is what I'm looking for. All right, so let's pop over there, grab it, come back, and get into my... Oh, hold on. Actually, before I do that, I want to have everything I need. Uh, copper wire. Need. I want to have everything I need to craft the uh, airlock as soon as I'm done. So I need one copper. Oh, that's nickel. Need one copper and one iron. There's the iron, and here's our copper wire. All right, so and yeah, I just need some five iron bars, and then we can get access to our base, which is eerily hanging there above that asteroid. Now looking around, it looks like there's so much to explore. Like there's uh, some distant locations. I'm not sure how far you can explore in this game. I mean, this is a limited demo, so I know it's fairly... Uh, um, well, a partial compared to what it's supposed to be for the full game. But uh, so far, it seems to have promise. Right, let's take this door that was locked before. And this gives us access to, yeah, the elevator right over there. There's a silver they can snag. I think it's the only, only thing in this area. All right, let's go back down. Yeah, there's a bunch of raw ore there, but I want to get in here first and fill my boots with all of these. All right, eight copper bars or eight iron bars. Was a chip set there? Some water, some food. So that's a pretty good haul. But yeah, I should be able to craft the airlock right now. I'll uh, may as well grab the rest of the the ore over here. Oh, never mind. I'm already full. So we'll <laughs> we'll come back for that later. All right, looks like we're ready to go. So yeah, I can craft the corridor. So I believe that is going to be right. Oh, did I go the wrong. Yeah, this way. Should be right above here. Yeah, there we go. Maybe put the airlock facing... Oh, look at that. I want to take a look at that at some point. So, corridor airlock. Bam. So, we're able to slip right in here. Ooh, look at this. Oh, so much room for activities. All right, I'd like to actually craft some storage. Looks like I have everything I need to craft a medium storage. And uh, it looks like Q and uh, E. Uh, yeah, Q and E to rotate. Let's put this right over here. Gotcha. So it uh, looks like 45 slots. Big storage. So I'm basically just going to dump everything in here for now. I got a little bit of food, water, medicine, and my tool. I think it's all I need on me for now. Grab the oxygen capsule just in case. So I should be able to grab everything from the original base and pop over here. Look at that big like drive engine thing back there. And I wonder if I could make it that far. All right, so this is me chock full of stuff. Oh yeah, I don't know if I can f fit all of it. Yeah, not quite. Oh well, I'm just gonna grab all that and come back. All right, home sweet home. And uh, it's, yeah, oh, <laughs> there's no way I can be fit all of this in here. I might have to end up crafting another storage box. All right, before I stash everything in, can I actually make another fabricator? Uh, machines, fabricator. So I need two iron bars and a data transformer. I got two iron bars. And did I have a data transformer? I don't see one. I'm going to leave some resource on, resources on me just in case I need um, to craft. Because I need a data transformer in order to craft the fabricator. Where's my base? Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I don't know if I have everything on me, but I'm sure it shouldn't be that hard to find. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that wait, is that a data transformer? Uh, oxygen capsule. Well, that's handy. Let's go grab this chest and some like right here. What's in here? Organic and iron. Okay, don't mind if I do. The sip of water. There we go. All right, see if I can make myself a data transformer and then I'll be completely done this place. So I need an electronic part, which requires copper wire. Electronic part. Data trans... Transoff? Wait, transfoter? 
data transporter. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. All right, here we go. And yeah, fabricator. Perfect. Let's see if I can grab the rest of this stuff. And then we can officially call this place done. So that's all the things in the signals. Mission board's complete. Yeah, I don't need to be here at all. All right, home sweet home yet again. All right, so machines and fabricator. Um, I think it's this way. All right, so try to center as much as I can. Nice. All right, so now we are fully independently functional here. All right, so now that we have that, What's next? Looks like I can uh, make a tool modification station. I need a little, just copper wire, which I might have enough on me. No, it looks like I need, oh, never mind, there it is. Cool, so let's just uh, make copper wire. And then, ba -ba, machines and tool modification. Okay, let's go against this wall. Neat. All right, so we can uh, make a battery saver, mining distance, mining power, mining speed, moxin, enhancer moxin tools. What's a moxin tool, first of all? All right, I'm not sure if I really want any of that right now. Now, it looks like there is base power, 4.5 out of 210. I don't know if the oxygen is requiring the power and we're going to run out. But uh, just in case, let's see about making power. So a solar panel. It can be built on a only built on a room foundation that has proper connection to function efficiently. And then we have a room foundation. So I need copper bar, iron bars, copper bar, iron bars, and glass. So we do have glass from uh, we looted from the other place. We got some copper bars, iron bars. Um, anything else? All right. So can we make the foundation? What are we missing for that? I need some iron bars still. Right, it looks like a mining's iron. Instead of mining iron, hold on. There is, where is, where am I? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There was a bunch, all that ore that was down here that I never got a chance to grab. Some silver. Where is, uh, hold on. Uh, no, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I just want to grab all that raw ore and copper that was just kind of laying there. Oh, what's that? Is that silver? I oh, already got it, I think. All right, breathing it again. And here is all that copper and iron. Yeah, this will uh, this will be a lot easier than mining it. Okay, got it all. Yeah, I think this place is officially drained of resources until I find out whatever card I need for this. Like, I thought that's what this card was, wherever the card is. Maybe I stashed it. But uh, I think it was just to access this room. But beyond that, I have no idea. All right, just making our way back out of here and out to our new base. All right, let's remind ourselves what we're doing. Um, room foundation. So I need iron bar. Iron bar. There we go. And room foundation. Now it looks like this snaps into the top. There we go. Warning. Neat. Oh, fluid intake. Do I have water? Mm, yes. All right. So now we need a solar panel, which requires two iron bars. Yeah. Now we're mining again. Okay. That should be enough for the two iron bars. Iron bar one. And two. Now that we've done that, we can just pop over to our builder tool and snap in the solar panel. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, did I power go down? I'm curious about this. It's three. So it is going down. So I wonder if the power runs out, you don't get oxygen anymore. So that would be even more important for me to do what I'm doing right now. And solar panel looks like it snaps into any of these four spots. So the base foundation snapped into this and the solar panel snapped into one of these unit slots. So I assume that's providing power. Here we go. Oh, yeah, five out of 210. Oh, and it's going up. Great. So we're feeling pretty good about uh, being established here. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is save my game. And uh, I'm going to end it here. But before I do, I'm just going to pick a direction and go. Something interesting in the distance. Yeah, that looks pretty. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure I got all my oxygen capsules. I want to make as long of a run as I can. It is okay. I only have the one oxygen capsule. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. Let's head over. Yeah, it was this way. All right. While I'm coasting over, let's go ahead and uh, talk about our thoughts about this game. I like it. Uh, I like the building aspect. I, I dig the exploration. I love being in space. Oh, location not available for demo. God damn it. Totally uh, C blocked me on that one. Oh, okay. I mean, that's fair. There's probably only so much you can do 
Well, let's go ahead and just float around until we die. But yeah, I like the game, I like the exploration. Um, I hope they build in more story components so you feel less, I guess, um, vacant. But yeah, look around. This looks great. Uh, the crafting system's pretty, pretty neat. But I like it. I'd like to see more. And I'll be keeping on this game when it comes out for full release on Steam. I'll put a link to the Steam page in the description if you want to see it for yourself. This has been Genesis with Astromedica. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. And if you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing. Ooh, if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. And catch us. Ooh. And, and before we, uh, oh, no. That'll be all for demo. Damn it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.